New to SCS2 2023, we now support welded HSS vertical braces framing to wide flange beam, column, or wide flange vertical braces. Part of this project was also to create transverse support stiffeners. As you can see, some of these examples are one, two, or even three point bracing. As I zoom in to some of these framing situations, you'll see that the stiffeners are aligned with the brace or the support. This is also a new option added. If I come over to the side brace, I'll change it to welded for my connection type for both. I see that it created a stiffener on the top and it's aligned with the brace. If I go into my plate design settings, we now have two new options. My first option is to design transverse stiffeners for welded brace connections as needed, always, or never. As needed will provide stiffeners when necessary by the connection design. Always will put the stiffeners in even if they're not necessary. And never, even if they're required by design, they'll never put in a stiffener. If it passes, then there'll be a note in the member edit screen that the supporting member web flange design checks are removed by the user. It may also fail the connection altogether. My second option is to align transverse stiffeners for welded brace connections with the brace or the support. When brace is selected, like the example you saw in the model, the stiffener will be in line with the brace so it will be diagonal. When support is selected, it will align with the beam, column, or vertical brace that it's framing to. Now I'm going to edit the vertical brace again, and in my connection specifications, there will be the same options. The only difference will be that there is an automatic option, which will be reading from your setup, or you can override this. On the left end, I'm going to put support for aligned transverse stiffeners since my setup was set to brace. And on the right, I'm going to put always for design transverse stiffeners for welded brace connection. On the right end, you can see that it has put a stiffener in the web of the column. Now you can see my stiffener in the brace is no longer diagonal and aligned with my beam. I can edit this again and put never. And when I scroll up, I'll receive a connection flag that I remove these checks. You can also possibly get a failed connection altogether when doing this. Another part of this project was the partial depth stiffeners. If I edit this stiffener, I'm going to let's say change this to 8 for my length. You'll now see that it no longer fills the web of the column. It's a little hard to see, but the stiffener plate did get thicker to accommodate the load, and the additional end preps that were on the end of the plate went away, and they're no longer needed. 